Calais, the city of lace and fashion, lets us live an exceptional moment with Monsieur Hubert de Givenchy in the flesh, as part of an exposition which retraces his design career. We kind of wanted to tell the story of Hubert de Givenchy through the clothes, but not in chronological order. We really wanted to introduce the concept of harmony and beauty, something that he always spoke about. This is what matters the most, the harmony. Things must be harmonious in everyday life, if possible, starting from, I would say, the detail of the shoe, the earring, the attitude of the model, in order to show the garment. There's an alpha and an omega in the exposition. The alpha is the Bettina blouse, that's his first creation, dating from 1952. And the omega of the exposition is the bride, normally it's at the end of the show. It's the best and most important creation for a woman, her wedding dress. This harmony sought in the most beautiful items gave birth to a couture house in 1952, which attracted many clients who have remained very loyal to the designer for more than 40 years. We started with Jackie Kennedy, then the Duchess of Windsor, and above all, Audrey Hepburn. This gives us the opportunity to present pieces which belong to her that are truly magnificent. See the Breakfast at Tiffany's or How to Steal a Million Outfits, which are really iconic pieces. Forty years of creations, like a tribute, an homage to the people he loved very much in his career in haute couture. I have to say that first, fashion is a dream, but it's at its core trying to do everything possible to embellish a woman, make her more attractive, even more seductive. And I'm a happy man because I've done what I've always dreamed of doing since I was a child.